Rob Polinka, please do not mess this up, bro. After yesterday's great win by my Los Angeles Lakers, yes, my Los Angeles Lakers, a quote from D'Lo came out post game. He said, man, if we get one training camp under our belt with this group, the sky's the limit. With that being said, we don't have a training camp under our belt and the sky's still the limit, right? And I'm just thinking like, man, that's crazy. Like if they can get a training camp between Anthony Davis and and LeBron and everyone, I'm not necessarily saying that an entire group, the entire group here has to be here. But if you can get a training camp of D'Lo, Anthony Davis, LeBron James, Vando, Malik, uh, Austin Reeves, them to me are the locks for sure. Troy Brown, even Ru Hachimura, what's that, seven, eight players off the dome that I can think of? If you can get that collective to have a real training camp together, build a relationship together, the chemistry, the the second year in the uh playbook understanding of the schemes and everything this like he said the sky is the limit but rob palinka you might fuck around there and blow that up trying to go out there star name and Kyrie irving this offseason if you do that you're gonna mess up bro because i don't think d'lo is a player that's just gonna wait and see if he's gonna get back to the lakers he's he's probably expecting to be back with the lakers on his contract that's gonna be something between a four year three three to four year 100 and 20 i think he's gonna ask for maybe he's gonna ask for probably more than Jalen brunson if anything he's gonna be the same as Jalen brunson somewhere between there but rob plinka don't blow it trying to force a Kyrie and lebron reunion like that doesn't need to be done the three star thing in the nba is done with please do not force that let's build a actual basketball team like we have today and let's win a championship on me